the single largest solar panels I've ever tested on the channel. Almost 600 watts, 590 watt bifacial solar panels. One month away from winter solstice here where I live, so the sunlight quality is almost at its worst, and I'm still pulling in almost 1100 watts from those two panels. Isn't that insane? And here's the best part. These will ship to your door for a really good price for such huge panels. It's insane. And you don't have to buy entire pallets of them. Let me show you how awesome these things are. These panels are, you know, the latest and greatest. So we've got the divide down the middle right here. So this half of the solar panel is independent of this half. So that gives you basically two panels in one for optimization when it comes to partial shading and stuff, which we'll demonstrate shortly. And it's very bright uh, with, at this angle, but to notice the cells are half cut cells. And we've got 16 bus bars through each cell. And of course, we've got uh, the bifacial element back here, which is fantastic. Got a beautiful day here, cloudless. However, I am one month away from winter solstice. So even though it's almost high noon, can you see how long my shadow is right here? <laughs> That's because the sun is way over in the horizon. So I've put these at a pretty steep angle, but uh, even still, uh, the sun is shining through a lot more atmosphere than, say, in June. So we're not going to get uh, as peak output as we could if we were testing these in June, at least where I live. But nonetheless, let's uh, give them a test and see. I've got them against this fence, so we might get uh, some bifacial gain, uh, which would be pretty cool. Let's just uh, see what they do, and uh, let's do some uh, shade testing as well here. Okay, so what I've done here is each panel is uh, connected individually. So I've got two leads, one here in my hand and one already coming up here into a power station. We'll just see what uh, the output of one of these panels, it's this panel on the right, uh, that's it's providing for this power station. Uh oh, check that out. Almost 490 watt. Oh wow, we're going up, hang on. <laughs> There's a shadow or something, 500, 506, 507. Hang on a sec, okay. Well, I guess uh, the MPPET was still tracking things. Anyway, uh, look at that. We're 525-ish watts, 524, from just a single panel a month away from winter solstice. That is fantastic. That's so insane to see that from one panel. The Blue Eddy Apex 300 here has plenty of uh, capacity to uh, accept uh, a couple of these panels. They, they've got a pretty high uh, VOC, so you could connect you know, those two in parallel and uh, feed them into one input. And then you could take two more and feed them into another input because this actually has two Z2 uh, ports down there. Let's plug the second panel into the second port here and see what our increase is. Let's plug that in. Check that out. 1,000, almost 60 watts. That is fantastic. So yeah, if you need mega power in one solar panel, 590 watts is no joke. Okay, next let's test some shading performance. These are kind of the cool technology here where you've got the panel kind of split in two. So you've got this half of the panel and that half of the panel. So we're going to just try some uh, harsh shading conditions here and uh, see what happens. Uh, we may be picking up bifacial gain from the back here, so uh, that might uh, change things a little bit. But nonetheless, let's uh, test some shading quick. So I'm going to disconnect the one solar panel over there. So it's just a single panel now. We're getting like 530-ish watts out of it. So now I've just uh, placed this cover on the bottom half of the panel there. The other top half is still available and we can still get some bifacial gain from the back. So check that out, you guys. It settled down at just about 300 watts still with the entire bottom part covered. That's crazy. Okay, I don't think my thing is going to be long enough here, but let's... Let's just uh, cover it up here so that it actually bridges up onto the other top part there and see how that performs. So that's pretty typical when you block off that point where the panel is split. It really destroys the voltage of the panel. And so we're still pulling in 32 watts, so it's not useless. But uh, compared to the almost 300 watts when I was below that divide, um, you know, this is a pretty major hit. And that's standard. Um, but I just wanted to show you that that uh, does happen. Uh, but pretty impressive though, that this panel is still big enough to produce enough voltage with just that little bit that's exposed, plus the bifacial gain to still function. Because a lot of uh, panels like this uh, would just die. Uh, but this panel is big enough that uh, it can still give you a little more oomph, even when most of it's compromised in shade. 
All right, just for fun, one more shade test uh, just across the entire horizontal part of the panel, but uh, still have half the panel exposed and even a little bit of the bottom half exposed. So it looks like we've settled out in the 283-ish watt range. And again, that's completely blocking the bottom part of that panel horizontally. So very good performance. I've been doing this long enough that uh, I know there's going to be comments flying about how this is so artificial and uh, not real, you know, tree shading or whatever. And that's 100% true. Uh, you could actually get better performance in partial shading with, you know, just uh, some light shadows like you see over here uh, from a tree. Obviously, it's fall, so, you know, all the trees are losing their leaves. So I don't have as much leaf shade as you would in the summertime. And so, of course, your results are going to vary depending on the type of shade, how much shade, where the shade is happening, etc. I'm just trying to artificially create significant shade just so you can see how the performance of the panel is and the split nature of it and, uh, and that kind of thing just so you can see how it works. On the subject of shipping, it shipped on a giant pallet wrapped very good in two layers of cardboard and uh, foam uh, in the back side of the panel across the front. The reason I didn't get a film the unboxing is because the my particular shipment looked like it had a huge gouge in it. And so while the delivery guy was here, I had to hurry and just tear it open and check for damage uh, while he was here before I, you know, signed for the shipment because you've got to do that. And there wasn't time with the delivery truck driver standing over me to go grab my camera and show the unboxing. But anyway, it shipped on a giant pallet and packaged very well because I can testify that uh, something hit it uh, during the shipping process and the panels arrived completely unscathed in beautiful condition. And check it out guys, just in the course of filming this video, we're over 1100 now. 1124, 1125, somewhere right in there. That's insane. For this time of year, the angle that the sun is at, that is just bonkers good. And then just to give you perspective on the sheer size of these panels, they are approximately 45 and three quarters wide, top to bottom, approximately 89 and seven eighths tall. So yeah, if you thought they looked tall, they are over seven feet tall. They're pretty standard inch and a half thick. And then as far as weight goes, got uh, down here on the scale, it's a little hard because I got to keep my hand on it to uh, support it here. But there were just over 70 pounds for each of these panels. And this is the spec sheet here. I will take a picture of it and zoom it in. We have a VMP of 44.40 volts. We have an IMP of 13.29 amps. Our max system voltage is 1500 volts. Our maximum series fuse rating will be 30 amps. Fire performance, type 29, whatever that means, I'm not entirely sure. Safety factor, 1.5, again, not sure what that is. Efficiency, 22.8%. My dimensions uh, were probably slightly off with the tape measure, but uh, there are the official dimensions on the sticker. Without my hand and wind and stuff pushing on it, they are saying this panel weighs 69.45 pounds. And then uh, jumping over here to the left, uh, we've got our uh, STC rating of 590 watts. And I believe if you factor in bifacial gain, you could potentially go all the way up to 654 watts. Our VOC is rated to 52.35 volts. And the ISC with the bifacial gain included is up to 15.40. So that VOC of 52 volts is absolutely perfect to pair just one of these with any power station that has a MPPT solar input rating of at least 60 volts. Because that's gonna give you really good voltage range, but not exceed that. Now, I doubt you're gonna take a nearly 70 pound panel with you on a camping trip, but uh, if you're just uh, at home deploying something that uh, you wanna run with your power station that has a 60 volt input limit, give some serious consideration to these. So if you're not scared of a huge, heavy solar panel, these are the ones to consider. These give you, wow. A ton of power packed in one package. You can tell I'm really enjoying them. <laughs> so I'm going to leave links to them down in the description. And uh, you can check them out further. I think they're a great uh, proposition if you want just tons of power shipped to your door. You know, that you order online. Everything that's kind of cool as I've been filming this. I don't know if you've noticed, but the leaves have been blowing around and stuff. It's actually quite windy today. It's not hurricane force winds. 
but these panels are heavy enough that uh, even just deployed like this would take a significant amount of wind to blow and uh, tip over. So you could probably get away with just deploying these randomly without any kind of major racking system or whatever if you wanted to. I'm not guaranteeing that they're not going to blow over and break, but they certainly have enough weight that uh, they can withstand more wind than your average solar panel. Especially if you've got a situation like I've got here with this fence that is solid so that the wind gets stopped by that, you know, blowing from the back. And then of course the fence is bracing them with the wind blowing on the front here. Like, comment, share, subscribe, and hype. Those are the five free things that I would really appreciate all of you doing for me. The YouTube algorithm keeps trending more and more to the clickbaity, controversial, whatever videos, and it doesn't favor educational type videos like this as much as it used to. And so doing those five free things really helps boost the video in the algorithm and gets in front of more eyeballs. So if you'd please do those things for me, I would sure, sure appreciate it. And that way I can keep this uh, free content for all of you coming. There are special perks for uh, channel members if uh, you want to look into that, as well as uh, ways to get uh, consultations from me, as well as personalized in-depth question and answer. Links to all of that is down in the description as well. So be sure and check that out. All right, guys, we've always got more epic content coming. So stay safe, stay tuned, and we'll catch y'all next time. Power is still climbing, 1,136. I mean, for this video, I was using this uh, Blue Eddy Apex 300, right? I think it started out at something close to a 70% state of charge. And you can see in the course of filming this video, we've recharged it fully to 100%.